So today I have received this a very special package in the mail. This is my 1830s round hat uh, from Matthew Brinkle, who is a hatter who makes uh, historic headwear up in uh, New England. So I had seen that he makes 18th and 19th century and even earlier uh, style hats and to a very, very high quality, very much uh, a recommended vendor. And so I had seen some of his work and I really just couldn't resist anymore. And I said, you know, I wanted to have a hat for my 1830s gentleman's impression. So I placed an order with him a while back and today it came through. And I wanted to just show a little bit uh, about what it is and uh, how it's made. It's really, really nice ha uh, to say that. Without a doubt, this is probably the highest quality hat that I have um, acquired, a civilian hat that I've acquired, and I'm just thrilled. So I'm storing it on the flat part of the crown and not on the brim because uh, Mr. Brinkle quite wisely sends a note um, that tells you that this is how you should store it because if you see this kind of curve will get worn out if you lay it flat so that'll squash it so if you store it like this then it will keep its shape better so this uh, could have been a wool felt uh, and that would have been you know for the more common typical and affordable types of hats for regular folks I opted for something a little more high-end. This is fur felt. And fur felt, um, I believe that this is probably rabbit fur felt. Uh, at the time, the beaver trade was huge in the 1700s and the 1800s in uh, North America and Europe. So many high-quality hats were made out of beaver fur. Uh, I don't know the status of that. I think that the beaver trade is more or less... Uh, thing of the past as far as I know. Anyway, uh, rabbits are super plentiful so we're in good shape there. So this is a fur felt hat. It's got a high crown of about seven or eight inches or so and that skews it a little bit on the tall side for the era but I wanted something that would kind of stand out a little bit and I have a relatively large head size so I thought that would be nice but like the interior here is worth noting. So he has hand stitched a leather liner in there and you can see interestingly in the back there's this little linen or, or jute thread that allows a little bit of adjustability for a perfect fit and inside there is the label of a London Hatter from the 1830s of which uh, Mr. Brinkle says he had a few examples, so he threw one in for me, which I appreciated. And you can see here, it has a, a grosgrain ribbon, ribbon uh, edge, the brim, and there's also a uh, small hat band as well. So, I've tried it on. Uh, I love this hat. It's super well made. The quality is... Can't, can't say enough for it. Now you'll notice that this is a round shape. Well, historic hats, older hats at the, the time, typically use a round hat block. But the human head is an oval shape. So what happens is as you wear it, it will conform to the shape of your head. So this is a brand new hat, so it's still rather round. Uh, and as it gets worn, that will change a little bit. So anyway, just wanted to showcase a bit of this new uh, round hat from the 1830s from Matthew Brankel. I'm very pleased with it and recommend him to anybody who's looking for a historic hat.